one in this video we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about seo and how to rank your website using the website builder and as well as a little bit of a background on me and how we used to do seo back in the day and kind of the results that we were getting so basically um for those that don't know my story i grew king of maids and at one point we were really really heavy on seo and basically when you know we've reached a certain level and i kind of stopped paying attention to king of maids as much and started to pay attention more to book and koala put all my efforts in there we kind of stopped all advertisement everything and there's still some rankings that i guess we're holding at some spots but obviously competition has caught up so i'll go ahead and give you a couple of um details of what we've done before how we've hired companies maybe it'll help you out um now i mean seo is definitely a huge market there's definitely a lot of scams in there and um you know i've been a victim to a few of them in the past because we've tested a lot of different companies some of them literally did nothing um and took your money and then some of them uh, got you some kind of re result so we've had companies that we've hired we've had people that we've trained um in-house and we've gotten all sorts of results so back in the day actually um and i'm pretty sure there's a way to check rankings over time where you were um at some point so for those of you that might be more advanced in in this field you guys can go ahead and check that out but at one point for chicago we were ranked on the map um one of the three results we were we had our chicago page ranked um as one two fighting with yelp all the time but we didn't care because what was cool is we were always ranked on yelp's first page two towards the top so no matter which link they clicked we would get the traffic and we were always number one in reviews in the city as well so uh, it was almost a given that the, the person's going to choose us and for those that have been doing seo a long time in this industry or related with yelp you may know um, at one point yelp would actually let you rank their yelp page uh, your yelp page on the first page or they would let you index your uh, yelp page on here right so we had our actual page so if someone basically this page right here if you go on that it would also rank so we had four results basically in a row in chicago that were all us and then all of a sudden and that was a waste of money after a while because that's why i kind of don't like seo that much um anymore because it changes so much that you could be on the first page and then you know google does something or some kind of change happens and you're on the second page and then you know all that investment that you made might be gone right um and i'll give you another example in just a second but basically what yelp did is they decided to de-index all those profiles they probably saw people like us leveraging that um and they're like yeah no way we need that traffic so that you know people see whatever's going on on our page and list of uh, cleaning services versus going directly to you because they just saw a review over here right which would say king of maids yelp um and then whatever stars there were how many reviews they would see that so that was a very popular listing and we were doing that actually we had that listed in chicago for a fact and then dallas and, and houston and um and I think San Antonio and maybe Austin. I, I don't think all four of our cities were ranked with Yelp yet, but I think three of them were towards the first page towards the top. And that was actually much easier to rank from what I remember. Um, and they were popping in quickly because Yelp's domain authority was so huge that we were able to leverage that and push that to the top much faster than our new domain, right? So we were really leveraging that. And I remember we were paying like $1,000 per month Per city just for the Yelp pages right and then to rank um, our actual Chicago pages which it's still ranked here somewhere so it never fell to the second page yet but we probably I mean we get a little bit of traffic from here but it's basically nothing um, it, it was like I think 2000 for just Chicago location to get that rank there and then um, you know we were doing other cities as well so we were probably paying like over ten thousand dollars a month just in seo you could see that um austin is still ranked here somewhere on the second page it used to be top three on the first page same thing um with dallas um i think it's somewhere here on the second page still 
But yeah, basically the same thing was happening here. And that's on the second page. I know we started New York already where we were paying at, at one point three thousand dollars to get that ranked. So we were heavy on SEO. But back then I liked the concept a lot more. Um, because now it's ch it's changed significantly, right? Google has added this stuff. And if it's anything like Yelp, which we have been testing recently, most people are going to find the results here. And who says that, you know, Google's not going to just decide to add uh, six more boxes like that, right? And then push everything else that's here um, down, right? And all of this is not going to be seen. So that's kind of why I'm also against it. Um, and not for everybody, right? But for certain industries, especially that show this. And then they, obviously you could still have, you know, your Google AdWords. So if you look somewhere else, sometimes you'll have more results, right? See, like you got this, you got this, and then you got this. And before you even get to this section, all of that is gone, right? Or someone already made up their mind. I'm still a huge fan of this um, as I'm making this video. And I do think it's going to be big going, um, you know, into the future because of voice and i believe voice picks this up so if you say like hey siri you know um find me a service or cleaning service moving company whatever then it's probably going to pull the results from here so i'm a huge fan of this still um if you're ranking for this i'm i'm you know very much pro for that um but this uh, the, the crazy part about that is i believe that these two kind of go hand in hand um in ranking so if you're working on the bottom part now you know i'm not an expert in seo but from what i've seen it seems like if you pop in one then the other one's going to pop in as well but i do see that these results change very often nowadays so it's like you know if you try to rank here who says next week or you know next if you're in a competitive market if you're not in a competitive market then you know um you might still be okay ranking for this type uh, for these results here and the map because it might be so much easier or if you're going for keywords that are you know much smaller you could do that right it's up to you i would definitely consult someone else i'm just giving you what i've seen what i see working with seo today um and kind of like what we've been doing and how much money we were actually spending back in the day and what we've ranked right um because back in the day we definitely seen a lot a lot of traffic um and i know that yelp does the same thing nowadays right so at one point um when someone landed on here it was all organic and we were getting you know so many so many leads from here but now all of a sudden they just basically copied google or i don't know which one came out with this list first um but now the whole section is sponsored right and it's pretty crazy because if you're organic you're literally um not seeing that much traffic right i'll actually give you an example so we run ads and this is another good insight for you guys. This is, we spend $750 currently per month. And you can see that 123 people come from ads and 60 come from organic. And we have the most reviews in our city. Um, so now imagine if we have way less, right? If we have, you know, one review or 10 or 30 reviews or we're three stars organic, you're basically not going to see anything. You have to run ads. And your click is going to be much more, much more expensive. So right now our click is four dollars per uh, click, right? So that kind of shows you how organic is still okay uh, based on Yelp's results. But and I'm I'm sure Google is very similar. But um, yeah, I mean I'm just giving you kind of examples so you kind of make up your mind if you think SEO is going to be worth it for you or it's not or there's maybe better strategies out there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I think I give you a lot of insight here um, onto SEO, what we've been doing and stuff like that. Um, just make sure that whenever you look for a company, they don't just sell you on the idea of SEO because you know they're um, obviously doing SEO. So they're gonna try to pitch you um, that, they're, you know, that they could do it and it's worth it, it's always worth it but it might not be. So be very, very careful when you choose to do SEO because it's not what it used to be back in the day because of the certain things that come up now, right? Like if all this results was gone, like all the uh, sponsored stuff was gone, it would be a different story, right? Um, and the same thing obviously over here, if they never added this back in the day, that was so much better. Um, and if you look at this on mobile, like 
before you even get to this, I mean, you're bombarded with all of this. And like I said, who's to say since Google and Yelp clearly is looking to make more money off, off people by adding all of this, who says that, you know, they're not just going to add more boxes and all your SEO efforts are down the drain. So that's just a little bit of an insight there. Now, if you do want to rank um, on our website builder, it is totally possible. Like I said, I've done, you know, I've worked with SEO companies. I've kind of been trained. I've, I've taken courses just to get the knowledge, just to see if, you know, whoever we're working with are doing things properly. So we know what needs to be done for SEO. So our website builder is more than capable of achieving results. And actually currently we are in the middle of still switching our King of Maids website fully over to the website builder. And we will be restructuring a couple of things internally for SEO to see if we could just quickly rank up there uh, based on what we know. Now we haven't touched anything for years. So the rankings have been slowly drop uh, dropping but once we switch to the website builder we will be um, trying to rank it more so for getting a couple extra clients and to show you guys what is working based on our own um, strategy so once we do if we are able to you know rank let's say chicago towards the top position and move a couple um couple spots then we'll go ahead and make, i'll make a video so you guys can see what worked for us and maybe you won't even have to hire anybody because i'll just show you what we've done to make sure that we do uh we got those rankings up we will be doing that and testing all of that within the website builder so that you again you you will have everything in one spot and that's the goal of booking koala we want to make sure that everything is literally all in one spot for you you don't have to build a crazy website on wordpress um and that's one and that's another thing that people will try to sell you on which is crazy to me um, I know that when we were before booking Koala, when we were trying to learn about Wix and stuff like that, people, you would go on Reddit, people would tell you no way you could rank a Wix site. Um, you have to go with WordPress and stuff like that. Mainly later, I found out it was because it was a developer that tried to upsell you to build your, you know, build your website or so they could build your website and get an extra, you know, a couple thousand dollars on top of it, which is crazy to me because yes, you could easily i wouldn't say easily because seo is definitely not easy but you could just as well rank a, a wix website as you can a wordpress website and the same thing goes with our um you know website builder you have more than everything you need in the website builder and we're always improving it so if you want to rank your website you will rank your website with the website builder and that's kind of what we're going to be um doing right now internally with the knowledge that we have We've already kind of set up the Chicago page and optimized it towards, um, you know, how it should be. And we're going to start trying to track the results once this gets pushed live. And maybe if you're watching this video already, we have pushed it live. Basically, we just need to remove the bookingqual.com. I'm just waiting on a, a few things to get changed before we can do that. And then we're going to start doing that. Um, basically, you just got to optimize your page. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you everything about SEO in this video, but basically, you know, if you've taken a course or if you studied videos, uh, you're going to be able to know how to set up your SEO titles, meta descriptions, um, you know, optimize your pages to what, what Google wants. Um, and in this video, basically, or if you're, if you're uh, going through the blog post, it kind of explains what you need to do. But basically, you have to feed whatever the person is looking for. You have to give them that content, right? That's the most important part. So if someone is searching for, you know, cleaning services Chicago, you want to talk about Chicago and you want to talk about cleaning service and your service, right? Um, and what you should be doing is just check out what other people are doing on that page, mimic it, improve it, make those pages better um, and things like that. But I'll um, leave that to you so you guys can go ahead and learn more from someone else. Just make sure it's a credible source because a lot of people t teach SEO nowadays and they have no idea what they're doing. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be one page that we're going to be focusing on. And in the future, I'll make a video, especially if we uh, bump those up now. I think uh, just as an FYI, we're not spending any additional money. We're putting people that already work here to use to do this so you know that's another thing to 
always remember, it, would I do this if um, we didn't have those resources, if we didn't already have spare people that would be doing SEO um, for us internally? I don't think so because it's very crowded um, and I don't think it's just worth it unless you get ranked here. Um, so that's just my two cents. I mean, if we were maybe doing like apartment cleaning or like some little suburbs, then maybe because it's not very competitive, you could hire someone and they might be able to rank you very quickly on those cities. So maybe if we looked at like, if we looked more in, into depth and went that route, maybe it would be worth it for us. But for Chicago, we're already ranked here running with ads. So that gives us good traffic and they do all the ranking for us in a way. And then obviously uh, rank everybody else. It's it would cost a lot of money for sure. And you would have to go through people that, and you would have to test people to make sure that they're good. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope that this video helped you guys out. Um, for those that don't really understand SEO or don't, or in between, hopefully this helps you out a little bit as well and take care everyone.